Hello everyone, um, this is my first Minecraft invention and I'm pretty excited. Um, it's not the most useful thing you'll ever find but I think it looks really cool. Uh, you get in the minecart, press the button and you are in a vacuum made of pistons and rails. The pistons pull the rails into place and retract behind you and uh, I guess it could be useful if um, to keep mobs out and only people with uh, minecarts can come in. It's very dense and uh, I think it looks pretty cool. So basically I have this other version uh, which is two blocks above the surface to show you what's going on. It's just a, a current of redstone that's being passed along using these repeaters and redstone torches. Um, there is a layer of pistons that pulls the rails in and a layer of pistons that pulls the blocks out of the way and it's all powered by one detector rail yep so I will show you how to build this and we'll be building this two blocks above the surface I guess if you were building this on your own it would be two blocks lower but it's a lot easier to build it up here um, so you start with your detector rail which will be two blocks from where you want it to start and uh, the rest you fill in with powered rails and you have your block here for the back of the uh, minecart and then you have a block here, redstone dust here and a button so that'll power the rail to make the minecart go forward so then we have a 3x3 three three, or 3x three however long you want it to be. We'll make this fairly long so you can get an idea of the pattern. And go all the way to the end. And then you have, uh, you have another row of stone here. One block above. Then you place your sticky pistons every other block like so and then alternate right across like that, like a zipper. Next you place a block underneath each piston on the ground so there's a space in between. Just go every other block here and then every other block here. Make sure it's underneath the pistons. Okay, next you place your powered rail all down in a line like that. Then you place your redstone torches and it'll extend the pistons like that. And on the other side too. So it'll look like that. Alright, so the way it works is that this detector rail powers um, a redstone current and then the current gets passed on down the line. So you put your redstone dust here, um, power this block first, and then this block happens one tick later, so you put a redstone repeater on the other side facing the block, just like that. Um, after that you place your repeaters like this. So. Um, it took me a long time to figure out the exact number of ticks that you need. Uh, I have this example here. If I run it like this. Um, basically, a minecart that's on a powered rail will travel exactly four blocks every five ticks. That's what I figured out. So, basically every four blocks you have one repeater set to three and one repeater set to two to make a total of five ticks. So that's what we're that's what we're gonna do. It's two ticks and then three ticks and then two ticks and then three ticks. One easy way to do that is to just go down the line and then go every other just like that or to make it less confusing I'll just um, oops do the one by one. So, two, three, two, three, two. Okay, so 
One last thing that we need is a line of redstone torches down the middle because once the uh, current runs out from the detector rail then the rail won't be powered anymore and it'll stop the cart and it'll get stuck when, with, in the pistons. So you need a torch every four blocks. So every other one of these you place a torch like that. So uh, let's test it out. Yep, there we go. Next, we add our sticky pistons on this block, like that, and it'll extend because this torch is powering this block, which powers this block and this block at the same time. So we put this here, put this here, put this here, put this here, and put this here and then on top of these pistons as well like that and last you fill it in with stone or whatever you want you could probably make some kind of cool color pattern like because you see the blocks get pulled out one by one so if you have like a I don't know alternating black and white that might look cool like a strobing effect or something but we're just gonna use stone And let's try it out. Let's get inside, press the button. And there we go. So, basically, if you want to extend it, you would just add more blocks. Uh, God, heck. <laughs> let's look at this. Okay, um, and then just repeat the pattern. So. You know, just add another piston here. Some more pistons, and then piston here. Oh god, no. Piston here, and piston here. Put that stone back. Piston here. Yeah. And then continue this some more redstone repeaters and then this one's set to two so we set this one to three and this one to two add the redstone torches put the blocks here redstone repeaters and set this one to three and this one to two because this one is two and then add these and add these add your rails which I probably should have done earlier and then add your blocks. So there we go. That's how you make it longer. So yeah, my first Minecraft invention. I'm pretty excited. Went through a couple many prototypes before I came up with it. I, this was actually my first idea to have the pistons push them into place, which is cool, but yeah, actually my first idea was to have have them push both the block and the piston so it's like it's like a chasm like a like a pit and then it just pushes it into place I think that would be cool but I haven't figured how to do that yet anyway that's all I've got for this first episode mostly I'll be posting about my spirited away world but I'm always experimenting with redstone it's really it's really fun uh, yeah so if you liked this video, please subscribe. <laughs> uh, yeah, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.